Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how easy it is to make your IKEA Dioder LED strip lights wireless with a simple and inexpensive mod. LED strip lights are great for ambient lighting behind your TV or cabinets. However, these, L these uh, LED strip lights by IKEA are not uh, wireless, which makes them a real hassle to turn on and off. They come with this wired controller to change the color and settings. Um, so using these lights in uh, your entertainment center is kind of inconvenient because of the wired uh, tethered controller that they use. Uh, but for about $10, you can get yourself a, uh, a replacement RGB LED controller with, um, with a remote. So here's the controller here, which I already have attached to the IKEA breakout box. So there's several different variants of these uh, wireless LED controllers, you know, from infrared to RF to Bluetooth to even Wi-Fi. So infrared requires line of sight. So I went with an RF solution. So this is an RF uh, controller with a remote. There are, there's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi available as well, but that's kind of overkill for what I need to do. Uh, luckily the IKEA lights themselves are regular, just standard RGB 5050 LED strips. So replacing the controller itself with another one is quite easy. I got this RF controller with touch with a touch remote. It doesn't have any moving buttons. It's a capacitative, like, like a touch screen on a smartphone. Uh, there's tons to choose from. So just make sure that it says uh, L LED RGB controller and you should be good to go. So for people who don't know, the dioder kit from Ikea is comprised of a wired LED controller slash remote uh, power distribution board, which I have here, and as well as the uh, LED strips themselves. Now I find these to be better quality than the ones I got from eBay or Amazon. Uh, those I had a lot of issues with because they weren't sticking to the back of my TV very well and also I found sometimes they wouldn't light up properly. For this mod we're just replacing this portion of the the kit which is the remote and the controller portion. This plugs into the uh, power distribution board on the LED kit and we're going to get rid of this completely and then replace it with uh, a re another remote and a controller. You see right here that I have already plugged up to the IKEA power distribution boards. This is where the, the LED strips themselves plug to the, uh, to the unit to get lit up. And this is the controller that came in the kit here, um, which allows you to change the colors wirelessly. This remote controls it. And like I said, it's t capacitative touch, so it's, there is actually no moving buttons that you press. So along with the wireless controller, you'll need some wires. I recommend getting some breadboard jumper wires so it's easier to plug into the existing connector. So this is the connector that's on the, uh, the original controller. Uh, the breadboard jumper uh, cables allows you to just plug it in easier without, without having to solder anything. It's uh, fairly straightforward. As you can see on the new LED controller itself, there's, um, there's actually, uh, connections for red, green, blue, and then on the other side there is a connection for power, uh, positive and negative. All you have to do is make sure that all the wires are in the right place, because if not, bad things can happen. At the time of this video, this is uh, the pinout for the IKEA power distribution board. There is no guarantees that IKEA won't change it in the future, so if you want to be on the safe side, you can get like a multimeter or take apart the power distribution board and then see how it's wired since IKEA usually labels the connections. Uh, this is an image of the, uh, with the one I'm working with. So the new wireless controller uh, interfaces with the IKEA breakout box here through this connector here. Normally it plugs in with this connector, um, which is part of this remote here but we've unplugged that and then we plug it in here. And I'll show you a picture of the, the actual pinout of what each pin does and make sure that you, you plug them in correctly. And then on the controller itself, there's also right over here, this is where uh, red, green, blue goes. So those colors plug into there and then over on this side, that's where power goes, positive and negative. After you've done that, you can then plug your LED strip lights in these sockets here. There's four of them. And then power it via the, um, the a power adapter that came with the IKEA lights itself right over here. There's also a power socket here, but uh, you don't need to power that because this power distribution board will also power the lights as well as this uh, wireless controller now. So here's the remote. Like I said, it's very similar to what you'll find on a uh, touch screen. It's capacitive. So you don't actually have to push down physically on anything, nothing really moves, it's just all touch. 
and, and very sensitive it feels really nice and um, the, there's really not much to it it's a very simple remote here's where you control the colors uh, so just tapping it will, will give you the colors you want and then over here this is the mode lets you uh, cycle through the different modes like how you want it to flash and this is the speed at which it flashes and then over on the left side here this is the brightness how bright you want the lights and it works really well it's nice and small this is a simpler remote there's other remotes that have like that allows you to control up to four different sets of lights but I have the simpler one here and uh, that's uh, that's actually a really good remote itself there's other ones available that use push buttons and stuff like that so you do have a wide range of uh, of uh, different remotes you can buy but this one here is uh, the simplest I got this on I forgot if it's Banggood or eBay both this kit here which includes the remote and then the wireless controller for about ten dollars it was actually pretty cheap and um, not much to it uh, the instructions were decent, but um, it's really not that hard to figure out. I mean, the, on the controller itself, it's very well labeled what each of these connections does. So there's many options to make your LED lights from IKEA wireless, uh, but I found the simplest thing to do is just to get one of these, you know, $10 controllers with either infrared or Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or RF, and and then um, you can control it without having to use this uh, tethered uh, remote. And that's it for now. If you found this video useful, comment, like, share, or subscribe to let me know that you're watching. Thanks!